We got Mike Kane. He's up uh, trapping some critters with us and uh, visiting northern Michigan and he's showing us how to flush a raccoon. He buys furs and he's giving us a lot of pointers here. Show us how to get the proper stretch on a muskrat using clothes pins. Now when Mike was giving me the pointers, he's like, uh, you don't want to flush these coon right after you skin them. You want to let them sit out in the cold and let the fat uh, right down. firm up some. You using the dull side on a necker there? Yes. Start up with sharp. Yeah. You start on the sharp up at the top yes, side. Yes, right here. Got it. And you kind of got a motion there when you're doing that. Yep. Using the jersey gloves because it's easier to grab, eh? Yep. And we like that structure right on the belly. <clears throat> now that's a six inch fleshing beam and uh, for just about every critter you can use a six inch. That's what we did those muskrats on. And So what are the eight inches used for? Mostly the beavers? Coyotes, beaver. Okay. But you could still do them on this narrow. Board. Yes, you I do them on mine at home. Them. Yeah. So guys starting out, you don't have to have two boards. Well, you make it look easy, Mike. Yeah, it ain't too bad to get used to it. You're on the sharp side there where you were ripping that red stuff. Yep. in Michigan and that one's not too blue is it? No that's pretty good. Pretty good coon. Yep. Those ones when they get them coon hunting around October 1st that ain't too good are they? No. They're bluish black. We used to leave them up the tree when we coon hunted early and went back in yeah. November. short arms so I pull it up halfway and finish it. Now these can go on either wire or wooden stretchers and yeah. Well, you do 300 a day, put them on wire stretchers. A little easier, ain't it? Yeah, I haven't got time to do the wood. I don't either. I'd rather be out catching some more critters. That's why sometimes I just roll them up in the freezer and take them to the fur buyer. Yep. There you are. Nice job, Mike. Sherry, you ready to put one up like that? Hmm. We'll stretch them tonight. Let me see. And show it. We gotta go catch some animals now. Okay. All right, now tailbone's out of there, ain't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. You gotta look at the camera one time. There you go. Mike from uh, uh, Kane's Fur Shed.